It's Wednesday, June 7th here at the West End Gun Club. It's a little bit after 520. Got here before the break of dawn. Wanted to come out to the range, but I couldn't take the day off from work because I got a lot of stuff going on this week. However, I wanted to get some rounds downrange and a new rifle that I put together. If you follow me on Instagram, you kind of know what it is. But uh, let's go ahead and get stuff set up so we're ready for when there's enough light to shoot because I need to get around out of the range at around 7.15ish or so so I can get to home and get to work around 8 o'clock. But let's go ahead and get stuff uh, brought out and we'll start shooting. Got the lab radar out, magnetic speeds on the gun. Just did a little quick bore sighting. We're gonna try to zero it up with some ammo here. But what you see here, if you're not aware of it, is my new lightweight build with kind of a goal for NRL Hunter. I'm not a hunter. I've never shot NRL Hunter, but I've always wanted a lighter weight gun because all of my rifles, pretty much all my bolt rifles, precision bolt rifles, are hovering at 15 pounds plus. You know, my 22 is 22 pounds. Roughly 21, 22 pounds. So it's nice to have a lightweight rifle in like kind of my kit in case I need something for the field if I end up going hunting, right? Because I've taken my hunter safety course and all that jazz. So if I were going to go hunting, it would be nice to have a gun suitable for that, as well as the fact that I want to try to start shooting some NRL hunter matches, especially since there's one relatively close to me uh, that takes place uh, at least the past couple years. So what we have here is basically just a quick rundown. I'm not gonna go into details on everything because you gotta wait for an article and another video overview of this whole gun once I get everything worked out in terms of load and just doing some testing. But we have a Defiance Anti-Action in a Proof Research 22 inch 6.5 Creedmoor barrel. It's carbon fiber. MDT Hunt 26 or HNT 26. Got a Trigger Correct Special. Topped off with the Leupold Mark 5 HD 3.6 to 18. By 50, which you're already you've already seen in previous vlogs, because I put on my Savage just for you know while I still had you know while I had the scope because I bought the scope for this but didn't have this gun ready to go in you know until months later. So I was running this on my Savage, but this is the Leupold Mark 5 HD 3.6 to 18x by 50 with a tremor or 44 sorry 44 objective tremor 3 reticle, and it's in a Spur SP 5001 mount, which is basically 30 millimeters high or 1.18 inches high. But let's go ahead and start zeroing in. I do have some of this older ammo that I have. It's this Federal Ammunition 6.5 Creedmoor 130 grain Burger Hybrids. And then I have the new Burger Ammunition 144 grain Long Range Hybrid Targets, which I'm gonna do a baseline velocity check in this gun. And then I do have some, oops, bolts out, have some ammo that I loaded with 140 Burger Hybrids just to test what the velocities are you know, in the barrel with like zero rounds in the gun, just to get a baseline of everything. Cause it's gonna speed up after hundred rounds and I don't wanna spend time load testing too much, but I do wanna get this gun sort of broken in. So hundred rounds and then we'll really start committing to load testing in terms of, okay, I'll know where my, where my velocities will be cause it will speed up. But in any case, let's go ahead and, and start shooting.
So we got it on at 100 yards. It's not 100% zeroed, but it's on paper and hitting relatively close to the point of aim. This is the first 10 rounds with this Federal Gold Medal Burger 130 grain hybrids. I think I said 140 earlier, but I meant 130 if I did say 140. Muzzle velocity is supposed to be 2875 out of a 24 inch barrel, if I recall correctly on this. But we're hovering at 2791, which is about right, given two inches difference in barrel with a 22 inch barrel. Uh, the first rounds were 2779, 2783, 2773, 2773, sorry, 2787, 2780. And then after the first five rounds, it started pushing up 28. 2789 and it's above 28 right now sd's opened up but this is just the matter of the barrel starting to break in so we'll go ahead and uh keep going here to get some more rounds down range and then sort of get this barrel broken in I shot a little faster than I wanted to this morning simply because I was keeping an eye on the clock and I want to make sure I get out of here in time. So this is kind of the zeroing targets that we're using for the gun with using this ammo, which is some old stuff that I had. I bought several years ago. This is Federal Premium Gold Metal Burger, 130 grain hybrid open tip match. I think Burger calls it their like AR open tip match or something of that nature. And I actually like the 130 grains of my Savage 6.5 Creedmoor. They shoot great. 
Um, I think I have them running at around 2,900 feet per second, 2,850. Pretty fast. And runs flat. In any case, I was using this zero, and I, I had like three rounds and then three rounds here, which is pretty decent. Uh, three rounds really wide, and I shot four rounds here, which is okay. It's about an inch with this ammo. Not that great, but not bad. <clears throat> and then here's my other target. This is, this left side is the burger. This is the new stuff. This is their 144 grain ammunition with their 144 grain long range hybrid target. Um, it's supposed to be pushing 2830 out the muzzle. I think they claim it with a 26 inch barrel, I believe. And let me grab my notes real quick. I just hit my knee on something here. Um, so it says 2830 and I believe I'm pushing with this ammo 2707, which is a good 150, 2830 compared to 2707. Wow, that's almost, yeah, that's not bad. Like less than a, about 120 feet per second drop. So if you're looking at this, this is, I sh I'll cover what I shot. This is the first five rounds, which is actually pretty good. That's well, well under an inch and I shot three more rounds and that's really good. So very happy there. Then I started shooting some of my own loads just to uh, kind of get an idea of what they shoot at compared to what they shot at in my other Savage 6.5 Green War, my 6.5 Green War Savage gun. And this is 41 grains H40 through 50 with the 140 grain burger hybrid target. I shot five rounds. It's a lot of up and down stringing. The SDs were good. It's like six. Then I shot another one. This is 41.5. And sorry, let me let me give you the velocities here. So with the 140 grain burger, 41 grains H40 through 50. This is 26.22 average, 26.22 feet per second with a sixth SD. This is 41.5. H4350 with pushing 2674, which is pretty decent, 6.5 SD. And this is, uh, I was having trouble with this. I I think I was having issues with my bag and just not getting settled well and it's recoiling wrong. But this is 42 grains, uh, pushing 2697, but an SD of 10.01, or 10.1, sorry. Uh, this is not bad. I would accept this, to be honest. And a lot of people say, oh, that's, that's kind of wide. That's under an inch, but... I would accept this personally with my hand loads because I'm not really great on hand loading in terms of uh, I don't anneal, I don't do a lot of other things that people do, I don't check run out. So I, it, what, based on my processes, I would accept this, but that burger factory ammo is pretty decent. If you consider that's five rounds and that's three rounds, I that's, that's some pretty good ammo. But this stuff is pretty expensive and obviously you don't want to buy expensive ammo if you can hand load or reload. I do have the 144 grain long range hybrid target. I have the bullets. I have 600 rounds of that stuff, 600, 400. I have enough so I can start working on my own loads, but I'm gonna to try to see if I can duplicate this factory ammo with hand loads. But let's go ahead and pack up so we can get out of here. I'm all done shooting this morning. I need to make the trek back home since I do work from home so I can get back to work. Uh, should be able to get back home at eight. IT security or computer security never sleeps. We always got something to do, and I do have some important meetings this morning. In any case, defiance, machine, anti-action, short action, 22-inch proof research carbon fiber barrel in 6.5 Creedmoor sitting in an MDT HNT26 chassis. The Burger factory ammo shoots really good. The Federal ammo, nah, not so much, but they're shooting Burger 130 grains. The Federal Burger ammo is shooting 144 grain long-range hybrid targets. My reload, my hand loads with the 140 gram burgers, eh, not really. Um, but again, it's a new gun, new barrel, still need, to, still need to break it in. And my hand loads, you know, probably weren't optimal for this. I, I think I found a node, probably that 41.5 H4350 range where I'm gonna kind of be at. However, I'm not even gonna use that bullet in this gun. I'm gonna shoot the 144 gram burger long range hybrid targets for sort of range competition matches or whatever for this gun. I did order some hunting rounds or hunting bullets rather. I don't hunt again, I wanted, but I wanted to build a lightweight precision rifle for sort of field hunting use in the event that I end up having to go hunting for some reason, you know, not for some reason, but if I decide to go hunting with somebody, um, I don't hunt. I've always, you know, wanted to go out, but I just don't like have any friends nearby who hunt and then like make the, make the time to go, go travel with them and do it. But Anyway, it's just nice to have something in my, my kit that is lightweight because, again, all my precision bolt rifles are pushing 15 plus pounds and, you know, hovering closer to 20. So it's nice to have something like this, which weighs 
right now in this configuration as you see it. Um, I don't know with the mag, but with, without the mag, as you see this, this is eight pounds, six ounces. It's really good. Eight pounds, six ounces, as you see it, with, without a mag. So, nice to have a lightweight rifle. And with a bipod, I'm still gonna be hovering. If I go with Skypod single pull, I'll be under 10 pounds still, which is really good. Uh, not much else to say, but we're gonna work on a few things here. There was a little mishap if you saw it in the video. I do have some concerns about the Arca rail, the Arca dovetail, because it's not, I think it's on the low end of the width on the, on the width spec. And uh, I'm gonna cover that in my article when I do a review or a write-up of this build. And I'm probably gonna do a separate review of the MDT HNT26 chassis. I think it's a really good chassis for, for what you're getting here. The price is kind of high, but this is pretty good. Um, but I'm gonna cover that little thing with the Arca rail. Cause if you notice in the video, there was a little mishap with the uh, Arca rail attached devices. And I think I know why. In any case, that's it for today or this morning. June 7th, Wednesday, here at the West End Gun Club. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog.